It's now 6.45 a.m. It's 80 degrees on its way up to the century mark. We're in for a scorcher today. I'm mad at myself. Dad, I'm sorry to barge in on you like this. Ollie? Did I wake you up? No, I, I had to get up to answer the door anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll come back. No, later. no, that would be so silly. You're already here. What's up? What's the problem? Three guesses. <clears throat> Something to do with Roger. Worse, Blake. Adequate. <laughs> Adequate kick my butt pretty solid. Oh. What'll it be, gentlemen? A uh, club soda for me, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I gotta do why, why don't we go back out there? You give me a chance to break even, huh? Me and you right now. Let's go. What you say? Okay, let's do it. Man, look, believe me, I have kids sit down. Oh, good. We go out there and play another game, they drag us out of here. Yeah. In a bag or something. What's wrong with your arm? I swear I left it out in the court hand. This thing hurts something fierce. Huh? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Oh, great. Oh, thing. Yeah. It'll be a hot one today. Mm. You can say that again. Thanks, the bunch. So, bro, tell me something. Why is it that you're out here trying to kill yourself? I enjoy kicking your butt. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> you were huffing and puffing like a 66 Chevy in the last two games. What's up? I gotta watch my waistline. You know, uh, living with Nadine wasn't good for it. Then. Matter of fact, it wasn't good for much else. Yeah, uh-huh. You sure that's not some other reason that you ought to try to make a fool of yourself? <laughs> what? What's up? You've been wearing that silly grin all morning. So come on, come on. Come on. She said yes, him. <laughs> Vanessa? Vanessa not gonna get married? <laughs> yes, man. Oh. Solid. Oh, <laughs> oh him. 
you know, I think this time is... I think this time is for good. And I got a feeling about it. You know, Vanessa and I loved each other forever. Yeah. Seems like something always getting in the way. And yeah, most of the time, there's something with me. But I'm not going to do that anymore. You no, know, I made a promise to myself. Yeah. This time, I was so scared to even think that she might say yes. And then when she said yes, I just tore up all my other promises to the man upstairs because I think I got everything right now, yeah, but I don't want to lose any of it. Like the song says, love come just in time. You deserve it, bro. You really do. I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm glad it's working out for one of us. What the world needs are more female architects. I mean, a woman designer would put the copy maker right in my bed. If you tell me what you're looking for, I might be able to help. And there's never a line in front of the men's room, you notice? In a women's room, there's always a line that wraps around the block. More female designers is what we need. Where are they? What? The coffee filters. Ah. Ah. Here we go. Come on. Come on, honey. Sit down. Sit down. I never think too well before my coffee. No. You're looking a little tired. What's going on? I didn't sleep. Want to tell me why? No. I don't even know why I'm here. Yes, I do, because when I find myself losing it, I always know that you'll throw me a lifeline. You're so damn reasonable. You got your king. Well, okay, good news first. I, I, I'm getting back into my life. I think it's thanks to Michelle. But I've been going out and doing things, and I even hitched myself to Alan, Michael, and Nick about joining the journal as a partner. Yeah, so? So last night, it was like I was shot back into this miserable nightmare that's been my life for the past year. What happened? Something happened with Blake. I don't even know why. <laughs> I'm surprised. It shouldn't be after all we've been through, but I don't know. There's just something that happens, and I just feel the same way all over again. It's like just press the button, and Holly forgets everything except how to feel lousy. Well, honey, tell me what happened. What did Blake do? Come on. It's all right. I'm here. You just had a nightmare. Why don't you tell me about it? Uh, no. No, I can't. Come on. Come on. Sometimes it helps. No, I can't. It's going to be all right. I thought I was going to lose you. I mean, in the dream. I dreamed that you were... You were up on top of this hill and... and and your hand was reaching down to, to get me. I was trying to climb up. And every time I got close to your hand and tried to reach it, I would just stumble. And I would fall back down to the bottom and I'd have to start all over okay. again. I'm here now. Oh, I'm so scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. Make love to me. I want you to make love to me now. Jilly. Nadine. Hi. Thank you for, um, for meeting me so early. Sure. Ooh, you look great. Oh, well, thank you. Um, Listen, Nadine, I don't mean to be rude, but I don't have a lot of time today. Oh, I understand. I understand. Um, neither do I. Oh, well, you know, Billy's already here. What? Billy. Oh. I didn't know he was here. Can you believe that? My own husband and... Such a small town, too. Yeah, I can believe it. Oh, Jilly, that's right. Hamp left you, didn't he? 
Yeah. Oh, honey, I am so sorry. I really am. I know how you feel. Um, I wasn't going to tell anybody yet, but, um, Billy loved me, too. Oh, Nadine. I, I had no idea. Nadine. So that's the real reason I really wanted to talk to you, um... Yeah. You see, I've got to keep busy. And I'm afraid I'd go crazy if I don't. So I want to get I want to get back on the air just as soon as possible. Oh. oh I've got a lot of new ideas oh. for the old show. Nadine, wait, no. I, listen, you know it's not I don't think that. I've lost any of my audience. Uh, you should see the fan mail I still get from all over. I'm sure. It's just that right now there's no room on the schedule. Uh, well, I'm sure there must be some low-rated show that, that you could, you know, bump for me. Actually, Nadine is not. But listen, I promise I will let you know if anything changes. But the way it is right now, I just... Julie, what, what is it? What's wrong? Uh, I thought I saw somebody I used to know a long time ago. Serena, what do you say? Next Monday, same time? Hey, it's always hard to look like you're trying not to look. Jilly, you guys getting any better? She, um... <clears throat> Jilly moved back in with her folks, man. So, I'm at the apartment by myself. I'm home alone. Yeah, why did you say something? Here I am coming on with all this good news. And you... What happened for you, brother, you know? Look, you should have said something. <laughs> what, what was I going to say? You know, you say, um... Yeah, hey, man, I'm about to get married now. I'm supposed to say, uh, oh, yeah, but by the way, bro, you know, it looks like my wife might not, you know, ever come back home. <laughs> no, no, Look, Ham. No, I don't think so, man. Ham, does this have anything to do with HP? Because if it does, I think you guys ought to be able to find a way to get past that. It's more serious than that, man. It's, uh, she's hiding something from me. And I think it's pretty big, you know. about where we found his baby. Is that what's got you so uptight? Yes. Well, maybe I can loosen you up just a little, hmm? David, will you please stop? I'm serious. Yes, yeah, I'm so serious. Am I. No, you're not serious. That's, what's, that's what makes us different. I just can't go on from day to day making up my life as it goes along. Oh, is that what you think I do? I'm not trying to be critical. All I'm trying to say is is that when I stood there in front of Billy Lewis, my father's best friend, and lied to him about where we found little Peter, I felt... David, I felt terrible inside. I felt sick to my stomach. I felt like I wanted to throw up. That's how bad I felt lying to him. Yeah, if you want to feel bad, try telling him what really happened. I know. I know all of that. I know that Bridget would have gotten in a lot of trouble and you would have been in more trouble for helping her. That's why we told him the story, baby. Hey, what harm did it do? I mean, the baby got home safe and sound. It could have been a lot worse, Cat, all the way around. I didn't expect for you to understand. I'm trying to, Cat. David, I lied. I lied just like I lied to your probation officer because I was afraid that you were going to go back to jail. And I, I even lied to my own father when, when you and I first started going out. I'm sorry. But I just, I can't do this anymore. I can't. It makes me feel too terrible inside and I, I just can't do it. You can't do what, Kat? Are you trying to say you want to break up with me? Mm. <laughs> what? I was just wishing for another natural disaster.
Do you remember the first time we made love? Well, of course I do. When the whole city of Springfield was in a blackout for 24 hours, we didn't even notice. I want to feel that way again. Fuse box is right down the hall. I think somebody always manages to turn the power back on. Well, let's pretend that we don't notice. Always looking for something to feel insecure about. Huh. Stop it, stop it. It's an order. Excuse me. Where are you going? Honey, I gotta meet with a client. Or rather, I'm I'm hoping he'll be a client. I mean, and this could be a big one. He's the big fish. If I sign this guy on, all my troubles are. the first time that you and Blake have gotten on each other's nerves and it's not going to be the last. Mm -hmm. well, what you got to do is stop beating yourself up every time it happens. You know, she's a grown-up now. She's responsible for her own mistakes. Is that how it works? Well, that's how it works in the books anyway. <laughs> but I mean, rationally, you know you can't control what she does. I wonder if I ever could. You know, even when she was a kid, she was just always so headstrong. Careless, really. About other people's feelings, other people's things. She was always ripping into my makeup. That's kind of a little girl thing to do, though, isn't it? She was worse. <laughs> she would always go right for the most expensive lipstick, but anything that I really liked, somehow she knew that. And, and just smear it all over everything, herself and everything else, till there was nothing left but a big mess. And she hasn't changed a bit. I mean, she marches into people's lives and takes whatever she wants whether it's hers or not, especially if it's not. And she just manages to ruin everything and destroy anything that's good. What has she destroyed? You're talking about Ross, aren't you? It's Ross again. Guiding light in a moment. Julie, have you heard a word I said? I'm sorry, maybe. Hello? Julie, listen, um, I don't have to have my old time slot back. I, I, I'd even do late night. You know, I, I'd go up against David Letterman, even. Will you excuse me a minute? I need to make a phone call. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, I didn't have to see you getting up. Uh, yeah, I wasn't watching where I was going. Pretty hot today, huh? Yeah, actually, yeah, they, they think it's going to hit 100 degrees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You look good. Oh, huh, well, you do too. Uh, shaved your beard. Yeah, no, changes. You need anything? Mm, no. I mean, you know, like, do you... You okay over at your folks' house? You want me to bring anything over there? No, no thanks, Hank. I wasn't being on you. I'm sorry, what I meant to say... Was... I, I know, I know, I understand. Um, I've been thinking uh, about us, about what happened to your brother, you know, the other night. I don't really want to get back no, into that again. I, I don't either. Just, um, well, I thought maybe you and I could talk. Sounds good. Or maybe we could get together... I don't know. For dinner? You know, you tell me. 
Um, I, I've got to go now, Hamp, okay? Um, well, I mean, that's fine, but, I mean, could we, like, set a time? Yeah, I, I, I'd like to. I really would. I, I just have to go right now, okay? Listen, I'll call you, all right? Drink a toast to Peter Lewis. Yeah, I definitely drink to that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Mm. Proud of you, man. Things seem to be going your way, you know. Well, things go your way again, too. Oh, but it's your time now. Huh? You're about to marry Vanessa. You got her back, you know. Got this beautiful little baby. Mm. You know, you never got around to telling me how you got Peter back. Oh, oh no, I did. Mm -mm. Uh, you told me some guy found, or somebody found him. Yeah, but that's, that's right. Yeah, well, who took him in the first place? Ah, uh, well, that we don't know. Then yeah, who found him? Oh, what, what difference does it make? I mean, the, the, the important thing is that I, I've got him back. It was Nadine all along, wasn't it? No, for one time, Nadine didn't have nothing to do with it. Are you having trouble telling me what happened? Oh, heck yeah, you're gonna find out sooner or later. Uh, the cat David, David found him. Wait, wait, the cat and David what? They, they didn't do, have anything to do with the kidnapping. Well, hold on, why didn't you tell me this, man? Because, uh, because I didn't want you to get stressed like you're getting stressed right now. What the hell do you expect me to do? Well, just calm down. Calm down? Look, I want to know what happened, man. Tell me the whole story, man. Yeah, but there's no whole story. Cat and Dave were coming over to see Bridget, and they came over, and they, they found Peter right there on the, on the porch. Yeah, right, right. Who told you that, huh? Did Cat tell you this? Well, no, actually, they both told me. Yeah, right. Dave was doing most of the talking one. Nah, just, just See, man, listen, that's the way it is. Since this guy came into town, he's been nothing but trouble. No, man, and, and, and he's nice dragging my daughter in on him. Look, you just bought that lame story, man, found him on the just porch? let it be. Phone call for you, Mr. Lewis. Could you take a number? Well, they said it was urgent. Okay, I'll be right there. Hey, you heard what I said, didn't you? I heard you. Just let it be. All right? That's good advice. the truth, Kat. David, Is this going to break us up? David, don't make me No, 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 no. Tell me now, Kat. Do you plan on breaking my heart? No, I just hate lying, okay? Yeah, okay. Look, we lied. And I'm sorry that I put you in that position. I really am. But were we wrong? David, it feels wrong to me to lie. I was raised on, on believing that lying only leads to trouble. Well, hey, that's fine, Cat, but you grew up with people around you who always trusted well, you. Well, that's because who believed I, you. That's because I did not lie. Oh, really? Yes. You ever try telling the truth and have somebody not believe you because they thought you were just some dumb street punk with the wrong kind of tan? David, I am sorry, but there have been a lot of people who have said some really mean and nasty things to me. Whereabouts? In your all-girl, upper-middle-class private school you went to? Hey, you ever been pulled over for, for, because you just happened to be driving in the wrong neighborhood? You ever had a cop tell you to hit the ground with a gun in your face because you happened to match the description of some fool who took down a convenience store? I don't have your faith, Kat, that people are just going to accept the truth, especially when it's coming out of my mouth. My experience is they're going to believe what they want to believe. So maybe that's the difference between me and you. You got faith in everybody. I only have faith in you, Kat. When I found you, it was like my life finally started. 
thought, if Cat loves me, then maybe there's hope for me after all. Maybe I can learn to trust people again, like she does. I thought if Cat loves me, then anything's possible. So that's what I gotta know. Does Cat still love me? Tell me, I mean, did Blake do something to Ross? I, I didn't come here to rat on Blake. That's not what's important. I came here because of this feeling inside me. I mean, why is it that every time she messes up, this, I just get this sick feeling. It just comes up and it takes over. It just knocks the moorings out from underneath me. It hurts me. I'm sorry. I mean, why do things always turn out for the worst? Why is the good person betrayed? Why is kindness rewarded with a slap in the face? But it isn't. I mean, not always. You gotta remember, Blake did this on her own. She did it independently from you. Blake did this by herself, and it's not your problem. I don't believe this. You told him. You told him, didn't you? Cat just smells so fine. That's my lemon mousse shampoo. Mmm, I like it. You like it? Yeah, take a whip of mine. Uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> David, stop. Now, come on, just tell me. It drives you crazy, No, doesn't? you drive me crazy. <laughs> What's this? This is breakfast. I ordered it while you were up taking your shower. <laughs> you, you calling this breakfast? <laughs> yes, what do you mean? It's fresh fruit. Freshly squeezed orange juice, fat-free granola, and yogurt. So where's the beef? On the cow, where it belongs. Well, look, if the chickens don't mind, I think I'll have three eggs over easy, a uh, side of home fries, and some buttered toast. David, do you know what that kind of meal does to your body? You trying to say you got complaints about my body? No, I'm just trying to keep it the way that it is. Well, don't stop now. Look, taste that. <laughs> if uh, you insist on torturing me with this bird food, at least let me get a cup of coffee, okay? <laughs> ah. Hey, Daddy. Hi. Do you want some breakfast? No, no. Cat, uh, what I want from you are some facts. Facts about what, Daddy? Um, what's, what's I want on? you to tell me exactly what went down with Billy's baby. Not much of an office you got here. Well, I like to keep the overhead low. <clears throat> this a good school? Oh, yeah, one of the ten best law schools in the country. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> it means in order to get in, you gotta be good. Or rich. Well, that I wouldn't know about. See, I had to work my way all through college. Mr. Lowry, would you like something cold to drink? What I'd like is to get out of this damn suit. <laughs> you know, but my wife's got some kind of fancy, you know, brunch, lunch. You know, something mm. I gotta go to when I leave here. You married? No, I'm afraid not. Well, that's right. <laughs> you know, I read about that cradle robbing incident. <laughs> you know, I don't want to think of a man who would uh, give up the Senate seat for a woman. I'll tell you what, why don't you think about my qualifications as your attorney instead? What'd you say? Mr. Lowry, you're here because you don't like the attorney who's representing you now. Well, he turned out to be a damn crook. Well, I'm not. What I am is a damn good lawyer, and I think that you know that. As a matter of fact, I think you had me checked out very thoroughly long before you even walked in here. Uh, well, I checked out a couple of other lawyers, too. Oh, yes, I'm sure that you did. You're no fool. And neither am I. Now then, if you want to hire me, you'll have the best representation money can buy. If you want to talk about my personal life, get yourself another boy. Well... I guess that just about covers it. 
Except for one thing. Is this enough for a personal retainer? Yeah, this is, uh, this is about right. Then I guess we've got a deal. Very good. I'll be in touch. Get it? Mm-hmm. We certainly did, Dolores. <gasps> yes! Yes. File it away safely. <laughs> now, come on, Blake. Pick up the phone. No, don't pick up the phone. Miss Thorpe, you're about to get a very big surprise. You couldn't wait to come running over here with the big news, could you? Blake. You just had to tell him what a slut your daughter Oh, come is. on, Blake. Knock it off. Well, your mother didn't tell me anything. Look, that's for Michelle. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I, I just was sure you told him. Just goes to show how much we know each other. Mother, you don't know the whole story. <laughs> What's the whole story, Blake? How are you going to justify this one? I only slept with Alan Michael once. <laughs> so that makes it all right. It's an important distinction. It's not like we were carrying on some sleazy affair or something. It was one night. It was one lousy night. Eleni really had left him, and I, I thought it was over with Ross, okay? We were both hurt and angry and, and drunk. But I don't care. Well, you've never cared, have you? I don't care about the details of your one night. Look, I came over here, not that I owe you any explanation, but I came over here to get some perspective for myself. Because, excuse me, but I had a little reaction to what you did. I mean, it just seems to me the cruelest way to treat somebody who loves you. God, help him. Oh, so now we get down to it. This has been festering for over a year, hasn't it? This is all about revenge for me taking Ross from you, isn't it? Nadine, I'm sorry. I I'm going to have to leave. Jelly, I was just getting to the point. I know. Listen, there's a problem at the station. Um, but look, I, I promise I will think about what you said. Sure. <clears throat> Waiter, check, please. Oh, Nick, maybe let Debbie see. Oh, no, no, no. I insist. This might be the last time I sign anything. Mm -hmm. This is Billy Lewis. All right. I'll talk to you. Could you wait here just a moment, ma'am? That's right. I'm in the employment, the personal employment of Miss Jenna Bradshaw, and she told me I could use her name to sign for all my meals. Let's just say it's part of my expense account, right? You got all that? Excuse me, Mr. Lewis. Yeah. Uh, I double-checked, and it appears that Mrs. Lewis is signing. Uh, this is revoked. You can let it be for today. Have a pleasant afternoon, Mrs. Lewis. Thank you. Hello, Jilly. It's been a while, huh? Why did you do this to me? What am I supposed to have done? Brady, you know exactly what you did. You told Roger Thorpe about me, didn't you? Why? David and I went over to the Lewis's house, and he was just lying there. Just lying there? Yes. And we were just both so happy that Peter was okay. You didn't see anybody? Like who? Look, you found a baby lying on a porch. Somebody had to have left him there, Kat. Well, no, Daddy. We didn't see anyone. Yeah. Well, was Peter crying? I don't really... I don't... Huh? Come on. I don't remember. I don't... No, Peter was not crying. Then he couldn't have been there very long, right? Daddy, I don't know how long Peter was there. Kat, are you sure? You didn't see anybody, even close. Well, what are you trying to get at? I'm just trying to get at a few answers. You're making me feel like David and I are the ones who, who took the baby. Baby, if I thought that, we would not be in here talking, and you know that. Well, I just told you what happened. We saw Peter lying there, we took him in the house. I mean, why? Do you have a problem with that? I have a problem with anything David Grant is involved in at any time. 
because you never get the whole truth. There's always part of the story left out, dancing around the truth, and that's what I want. I want the truth. Hey, you got something to ask me, Hamp. I'm right here. You just can't get past it, can you, Mother? The fact that Ross chose me over you. And you like. just won't rest until we both pay for that. That is not true. Well, then why do you care? What is it that you want from I me? want you to be a decent human being, but I don't think I'm going to get my wish. Oh, well, if you wish that I had grown up like you, thank God I didn't. You're so meddling into other people's lives and jealous of everything that you can't have. You hang out with a little girl because she's the only one who can spend time with you. Your life is so pathetically empty. Mom, I'm sorry. I should have said... Mom, please... Molly? What happened? What? I just said things like... I gotta get her. No, stay here. You're just gonna make things Wait, worse. Mom! I warned you, David. We didn't do anything wrong. No, 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 not we, you. I warned you the night you went after Roger Thorpe. I told you I didn't want my daughter to be anywhere near you the next time you pull one of your stunts. Next thing I know, I found out Cat is with you when you just happened to find Billy's baby. Now, I'm going to accept her word for what happened because she doesn't lie. But I don't like it, David. This doesn't seem right to me, you know? I'm not gonna warn you again. Do not hurt my daughter, David. I will be watching you. As it turns out, it, it didn't make any difference, all right? Thorpe didn't think any worse of you, and you didn't lose anything. Just my husband. Why? He doesn't have to know what happened a long time ago. Grady, after all these years, you just waltz in and, and ruined everything for me. Hey, will you take it easy? You're making such a big deal about this. Just forget about it, will you? I did. You can. Have a nice day. I'm Dolores, Ross Marler's secretary. Who are you? Where is Ross? He went out. Where? May I ask what you want with Mr. Marler? No, you may not. Oh. Molly, what are you doing here? This has been Guiding Light. Fashion jewelry by Starlight. Imagine your arch rival is out on a ledge and he's making you mad enough to push. Would you? Will Dylan? Tomorrow on Guiding Light. And don't blink, Ashley. And don't look away. Because if you want to know more about the man you're falling in love with, all you have to do is ask. Tomorrow on The Young and the Restless.